we had two kinds of velocities. Now let's look at something called speed. Speed and velocity are used interchangeably in everyday language, but they have a different meaning in physics. Okay? Average speed, it is really just the distance covered covered in some time interval delta t. So like average velocity, it depends on an interval, but it's not velocity, it's speed. So to think about this one, let's do another example. Example four of Hal's motion. All right, example four is going to look like this. So Hal is going to start somewhere. We're not going to do the numbers this time. It's going to start somewhere and roll kind of slow in the positive direction and then really fast in the negative direction. All right, so think about that motion for a minute. Slow, positive for a long way, and then fast, negative. Okay? So make a plot. Here we go. Example four. Time x. Slow positive like this for most of the time, and then sharp negative, and gets down to some uh, position. All right. There it is. There it is. So let's look at that and think about let's look at the average velocity. What would that be for the entire trip? What's the average velocity? For the entire trip, we could call this ti. We could call this tf. What would the average velocity be? Well, it would be x final minus x initial over t final minus t initial. That's what it always is. Okay. But if you looked at it, you could say we could do our little lines. There's x initial. And then here is, oh, that's supposed to be straight. Here is x final. So you can see he actually didn't get very far. Right. I started him uh, sort of here. And he went, and he came back faster, and I stopped him here. So even though he went all this path, he only got this far in terms of displacement, in terms of a vector displacement forward like that. So what I conclude from this is that it's slow. Right? I mean, we're not putting numbers to it, but you get the idea. He didn't get very far. Okay. Now let's look at the speed. Right? That's the average velocity. Let's look at the speed. Ah. V average. Yes, we use the same symbol, but I don't put a vector on it. Okay? Velocities are vector quantities, speeds are not vector quantities. So the only difference I'm making is I'm not putting the symbol, the vector symbol. So you gotta remember. And you'll see why it's not a vector is because it's not a displacement vector, it's just D. It's just the total distance traveled over delta T. And you know distance doesn't care about direction. It is how far did it actually go. And since it doesn't care about direction, it can't be a vector. Right? So no vectors on the average speed side. So to get that, we would have to break this up into a few parts. Right? We would have to say, let's call this uh, T1 and this important point here T2. And then here at the end, we we'll call that T3. And then we can start relabeling these and see for speed, we'll call this x1. All right, we'll call this x2. And oh, we got really far out here. All right, you got to x3. All right. All right, so then we would say, OK, in this case, how do we get this distance? Oh, well, how far did it go? First, he went from x1 all the way to x3. All right, x3 minus x1. And then how far did he go? Then he went all the way from um, x3 to x2. If we do final minus initial, x2 minus x3, we'll get a negative number. And we want it to be positive. So I'll just do a little trick on you. I'll do x3 minus x2 plus x3 minus x2. I should do the other one and put magnitude bars over it, but people freak out, so I don't want to. But the point is, I did both of those numbers where they're nice big positive numbers, big numbers, right? Over uh, the, well, it'd be uh, t3 minus t1. So you can see, this will be faster, right? This will be fast in centimeters per second. Also, this, of course, they're all in centimeters per second. This will be faster because the numerator is much bigger, right? If we were to apply this idea 
to 1, 2, and 3, the average velocity, it would just be this little distance. Uh, yeah, 3 minus, uh, oh no, that's a 2, and that's a 3. Hopefully you noticed that and you smugly sat back and enjoyed my error. But I'll just keep going. Right, that's a 3, that's a 2. So really just be the small difference 3 minus 2. That's why it's slow. Whereas this one has all these parts in it. That's why it's big. Okay. So speeds often are faster than average velocities because they don't have all uh, the vector part in them. 